This podcast is brought to you by our friends at Anchor by Spotify. And if you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. No specialty training or equipment needed. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast worldwide on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And best of all, like I've been saying, Anchor is totally free. It's free. Download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started and make your podcast dreams a reality. That's anchor.fm. What are you waiting for? Download the app. Order up. All right, boys and girls, as part of our MLB preview, it is time for us to order up. Order up, order up. This week, we are ordering up the American League East from 5 to 1. Who ya got, D? Oh, trash. All right, start with the Boston Red Sox. Mm. How the mighty have fallen. Trevor Story, Alberto Mondesi. Rafa Devers is the offense. Chris Sale, Corey Kluber, Nick Pivita, and James Paxton. That guy still pitches. Uh, no, he doesn't. I mean, do I have to say any more? Boston to the bottom of this barrel. Number four, I've got Tampa. I think it really comes down to glass now. Wander Franco. Um, the Rays have pushed the right buttons for the last several years. And I think they'll do enough to compete for a wild card spot. Nothing crazy. Number three, I got the Yankees, man. Uh, I think their pitching is going to fail them. We talked about it earlier in this broadcast. Uh, Rodon is already hurt. Cole is not a leader. Montas is hurt. Severino was hurt last year. Nelson Cortez is hurt. And Domingo Armani shit. So that's what I got with the Yankees. Number two, I got Toronto. I think Vlad Jr. will lead the league in home runs again. I like how they upgraded the defense of the outfield with uh, Kielmeyer and uh, Varsho. I do like what Toronto did in the offseason. And I think it's time, man. It's Baltimore Orioles time. Uh, no Brady Anderson, but they've got Adley Rushman. He's I got him winning the MVP. I think the Young O's are winning the division. I think the deep, I think pitching pitching they're gonna have to pitch their hearts out Kyle Bradish um Kramer uh Grayson Rodriguez and then that's it it's what I got what do you got Z I mean that's a bold choice at number one that is definitely a bold choice now we can agree on the Boston Red Sox the Boston Red Sox it does not look good but your opening day starter is Corey Kluber that's all you need to know about the Boston Red Sox. And this is not the Corey Kluber who was with the then Cleveland Indians, right? This is the Corey Kluber that's kind of been bouncing around between the Yankees and the Rangers and the Rays. And now they're with now he's with you. He's a number five. He's a guy who's he's an innings eater. <laughs> he's a number five. He's a number five. He's an innings eater. He's a guy who's hit, there to get his ass kicked. Not in your rotation. Not in yours. James, you know, James Paxton, you're still paying him? But he's hurt again. Well, no shit. He's hurt still. You know. Chris Sale, what are you going to get from Chris Sale? Not much. Not much. You're banking on Tristan Casas. You're banking on, you know, maybe Bobby Dahlbeck finally becomes something. But... Yeah, Rafa Devers is probably gonna. They're they're gonna have to get rid of Rafa, Rafa Devers. Like, you're, you're you brought in Adam Duvall. He's probably gonna get traded. You're probably gonna trade Kike Hernandez. Like, I I don't see a whole lot of win. I don't see a whole lot coming out of this. You know, the immortal Jolie Rodriguez is in your bullpen. Like, I I don't see a lot there. Fourth place, 
the New York Yankees. I, I they did not they nothing they did impressed me. You know, their rotation, but hopefully they're getting it out of the way now. But if they're not, they're in for a long year. And there are too many question marks. There are too many question marks as far as IKF, Donaldson, Hicks. Like, are you, you know, is Hol- is Jose Trevino for real? Is DJ LeMay going to be healthy all year? There's a lot. There's a lot of questions. Is Volpe going to make this team? Is Volpe going to be any good? What are you going to get from Glaber? I mean, the surest thing is Aaron Judge. John Carlos Stanton to a lesser degree. But those are that's it. Everything else up in the air. That's too rich for my blood. I'm not I'm not fixing to take that. Number three. I like the Rays. Right? Their their young pitching is gonna be a year stronger. Glass now will be back. Like we'll see if Glass now will be what Glass now was. Yura McClanahan, we'll see what Shane McClanahan is. And they always seem to draft and develop. They always seem to find the guy. Like, who's it going to be this year? Who's going to be the guy that they found that's going to like unlock himself and become a superstar? Is it going to be Luke Rayleigh? Is it going to be Jose Siri? Is it going to be Paredes, Isaac Paredes? Like, you saw a little flash from him last year. Is he going to be the guy? Like Kevin Cash always seems to know what he's doing. And that organization is always on point. So the Rays are going to, they're going to be in the conversation. Number two, I think they're a year away. They're a year and a couple of good pitchers away. They have good young pitchers, but they need some veteran anchors. They're not there yet. Kyle Gibson is not it. And I'm talking about the Baltimore Orioles. They can hit. They absolutely can hit. Is John Means going to be back healthy this year? Who knows? You hope so. Austin Voth. Saw plenty of him with the Nationals. But was not impressed. They probably need one or two more arms. Now... Is it possible? Do they get in on the Shohei Otani sweepstakes if he becomes available and they're in a, in the playoff hunt? They have assets to get. Henderson is untouchable. Rushman is untouchable. Everybody else, if it means I get Shohei Otani, take your pick. Take your pick. I like the Orioles a lot, just not as much as I like the Toronto Blue Jays. They reinforced, right? They brought in Chris Bassett. Say what you will about his performance at the end of last year. He's one of the main reasons that the Mets got where they got. Kikuchi. Can Kikuchi be who he was in Seattle? If that's the case, they're on to something. Barrios. Gosman. Manoa. That's pretty good. And then at the end of the bullpen, if Chad Green is healthy, you put Chad Green and Jordan Romano together that's a that's a good back end of the bullpen that's a really good back end of the bullpen and this team's gonna hit you know this team's gonna hit you know Kirk Bichette Biggio Vlad Jr. Whit Merrifield they brought in Brandon Belt like Brandon Belt is going to help spell Vlad he's gonna keep him fresh and I really, you know, it's possible, you know, Vladdy can take home the MVP this year because they went out and got Brandon Belt. They are a little thin in the outfield. If Kiermaier gets hurt, like, what are you going to do? I guess you move Whit Merrifield to the outfield. I didn't even mention Matt Chapman. Like, it's an embarrassment of riches up in Toronto, and it's starting to look like those old you know, the 89, 90, 91, 92 Blue Jay teams were, they were, they had some depth and they had studs. And it wouldn't surprise me if they made a deep run in the playoffs this year. If you 
want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at Fade Route Podcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. Mm-hmm.